Hey guys, welcome to Brick Boy, the show where we review LEGO sets, and today we're looking at a very, um, overdue project. Um, it's a review of all 16 LEGO Miniature Figs, Series 2, the collectible kind. Um, you might be thinking to yourself, Hey, sir, did you review all 16, I mean, you all like 15 of the other ones, and you the only one you haven't reviewed is the skier, and why are you supposed to want to review all the others? Well, uh, I'm going to delete those other two. Because I, in one review I covered the first five or six, yeah, first six I got, and then I recovered, and then I have, uh, reviewed the next nine, I think it was. And then I didn't have the skier, I said next time I'll review the skier, but I decided, hey, why not review all of them and get rid of the other ones, so we can have just one clean video, and this time I don't have to worry about, a uh, video space unless I do it for like 150 minutes, which I will not, because YouTube will not allow that. So yeah, let's get to the minifigs, but first, we'll look at the, uh, the little booklet that comes with every one of them. Here it is, at the top it says Lego minifigures, uh, series 2 and I think Spanish, and series 2 in English. And then here's a checklist of all the ones you have, Mexican, Spartan, Ringmaster, Witch, Vampire, Traffic Cop, Explorer, uh, Lifeguard, Mime, uh, Weightlifter, Popstar, Skier, uh, Disco Stew, or whatever his name is, uh, Karate Master, Surfer, and Pharaoh. And on the other side, we have a little picture of all their hats, or a bunch of the hats, then the body says, and then there's the neck pieces, the, the vampire cape, the, the Spartan cape, and the poncho from the Mexican. I know it's called something else, but I always call them Mexican. And there's a bunch of accessories for the hand, and then there's stuff you can put on the feet. So yeah, now we're done with the, the pamphlet. Now we look at all my Lego bricks individually. No, we should get to the minifigures because that's the main focus of this video. So yeah, I'm going to go over them from best to worst or probably somewhat something like that. Let's start with the Karate Master. So yeah, he's got the uh, the nice hair, most likely. He's drowned in hair, hair gel. He's got the cocky smirk on his face. He actually does look a lot like my old karate teacher. Somewhat. So yeah, and then he's got the black belt, because every leader has a black belt. I think that's like for every karate studio, black belt is, means the master. So yeah, here's the base plate. It's basically a 3x4 with a one line of studs on the back. It's all that. Not to show all that, just whatever. And of course, the probably the best piece in LEGO history, the LEGO Trophy. It's a very nice piece. It's really good looking and uh, has a little stud there so you can grab on. But you actually grab on the head, which is kind of interesting. And a cool feature. It's a Karate Master. Definitely an awesome minifigure. Let's put him there. Now, the second favorite, the Spartan. This is Sparta! See, so yeah, he's got the, the nice golden helmet with the, the fur, I guess you'd say. And then he's got the beard and such. Here's a spear, very long, it's very big. No jokes of miss. And then here's the shield, a very cool shield. It's almost like a saucer. And of course he's got the cape, it's a pretty generic cape. I think it's just basically any other cape colored red. Then here's the, the armor. And then of course the little skirt. Cause he's a manly Spartan warrior. And he wears a little skirt. Yeah, Spartan, definitely an awesome minifigure. Um, uh, uh, short story, and not that interesting, but I feel like I say it. Uh, my friend Jake, he had two of the minifigures I didn't have at the time, the traffic cop and the skier. And he said he traded me both the traffic cop and the skier for the Spartan. That's how much people love this minifigure. This is a very awesome minifigure. But the Karate Master has the trophy, and of course me going to karate for quite a while. It has some sentimental value. Now it's like my third favorite, the weightlifter. See, he's got the regular Lego black hair, and isn't he's got like the kind of a uh, unmanly look, I guess. And he's sweaty and tired from lifting all the weights because he's manly. And he's got the green uh, workout suit, very nice. I can't tell if it, it looks like a zipper kind of his belt, but I'm sure it's not. And I can't. What is that on his chest? I have, oh, one of them's a weight, and then I can't tell what the other one is. Yeah, and then of course there's the white piece. 
It's a very cool piece. It's actually three pieces. It's one of the short rods like used for the uh, the Magician Wand in Series 1 as well as the, uh, the Spaceman's Laser. Here's that piece and then here's the weight pieces. Very cool. The only downside to this guy is he can't lift the entire... Yeah, drop the piece. He can't lift the entire weight with both of his hands, which is how people usually lift their weight. It'd be kind of cool if, like, if they came with a, like, if all the minifigures came with, like, little sets to go with them, and he'd have, like, a little workout area. It'd definitely be very cool. And here's the pop star. Or rock star, I guess pop star, because she's, I guess she's a knockoff of, like, Hannah Montana or someone. So she's got the, ah, I keep dropping pieces and went into my lava trust box. No, it didn't. Stop doing stuff. Gosh. See, here's the hair. Very nice hair piece. And there's her face, it's got a lot of eyeshadow and you know, lipstick and stuff, very, uh... We just got a mole. Pop stars have makeup that covers every kind of blood. Is that just that smudge? No, it's not. Pop stars have like a million pounds of makeup and anyone on TV or performing has to have absolutely no moles or everyone thinks they're a loser and whatever. Yeah, I don't get why that happens. See, so yeah, and then you've got the microphone piece. Very cool. I've seen a lot of like mocking sites like Brick Arms and stuff uh, make microphone pieces. Very cool piece. And then there's the sparkly shirt with the, the jewelry. It's definitely sparkling. And then it's got the several belts on the legs. Yeah, Pop Star, definitely a very cool piece. So what? I am a rock star and I suck at singing and you most likely hate me for it. So yeah, now let's go on to my. Fifth favorite, the Pharaoh. See, so yeah, he's got the very cool Pharaoh hat, uh, Pharaoh face, and as you probably know, that the Pharaoh's Crest franchise is coming out in 2011, and uh, I'm sure they'll have a lot of minifigures like this, which will be very cool. I might not buy those, but you know. And it comes with a very nice staff, definitely an awesome staff. There's his body, got a lot of uh, Egyptian such things and coup. So yeah, I'm trying to go through these faster because this has been taking quite a while. Definitely a very cool minifigure. Yeah. Now I'll go on to my sixth favorite, the Mexican. He's got a sombrero, very cool sombrero, but it goes on his head kind of weird. Like, it's kind of hard to get on. You have to keep twisting and putting it on different angles and stuff. Stuff. Shock, such things. And here's the, uh, the face. Very nice face. And uh, the poncho is actually two different pieces. Two little cape pieces. I don't really need to take it off. He's got two maracas. He comes with an extra maraca, which is very nice if you want someone else to party up. So yeah, another bad thing about, or one bad thing about him is that his other pieces are very bland. This one's just a gray shirt, shirt with a, like a brownish arms and then brown pants. Ah, look right into my light. Blinding. The Mexican, very cool, but does have a couple of downfalls. Now my next favorite is the lifeguard. So she's got the very nice hair. I think it's the same hair as the, uh, the cheerleader. Possibly the same face as the cheerleader. I don't have the cheerleader, but I want to because it's a very good minifigure. So yeah, she's got the swimsuit that feels like... Be wait. wait. Never mind. So yeah, and then she's got the, uh, the floaty, I guess you'd say. Can be gripped on the sides and right here. So yeah, that's a very cool feature. A very cool minifigure. See, now we have the skier. Let's take off the stand and replace his uh, skis with them on his feet. So, yeah, here's the hat. Very nice hat. I think there have been Lego skiers before, but I'm not sure if they do exist. Feel free to comment about that, because I know my Lego videos get a lot more views than my like Let's Plays or reviews. Okay, there's his face. Very nice face. He's got the ski poles. Very cool ski poles. Yeah. Trying to get the ski pole on. Mm. Okay, here are the skis. They're very nice skis. They don't have any studs on the bottom. Like I wish, like the surfer had studs on the bottom of his uh, gear, which would be nice. I mean, he had that, so why can't this gear? So also a cool feature you can do is if you put the skis together you can grip them on the side like this 
because they have little bumps right there, which make them large enough so it doesn't slip through his hands. So yeah, Skier, a very cool minifigure, uh, but you can't, unless you want the pieces to be rolling around or something, uh, you can't attach all the pieces to him unless you put the skis like on the bottom of his stand, which looks kind of dumb. But you can't put the skis on the back of his legs, so that's a good feature. And wow, I'm, we need to rush through this. So yeah, we got Disco Stew. He's got the afro, very nice, and the, the sunglasses and such. There's his chest, very nice chest. And the record brick fever, very cool. And of course I have to drop something. And I think his hair is just clown hair, colored black, as you can see. I don't have the clown, so I don't have a perfect comparison, but you know. So here's the mime. He's got the beret, very nice beret. He's got the, the white face, stripes, and he comes with multiple faces. A He has a uh, happy, sad, and shocked face, I guess. Yeah, mime, very cool. And now let's go into the surfer. Definitely a cool surfer. I mean, a cool minifigure. He's got the hair. I think it's the same hair as Ron Weasley. He's got the nice face with the aftershave, I guess. The bare chest. I think there was a similar piece like this in the Prince of Persia Dastan. He was bare chested in one set, but that was a tan skin color instead of the uh, the yellow that the minifigs rely on. And then he's got the bathing suit. Very cool piece. And then he's got the surfer board, which does have studs in the back so you can pose him surfing on his stand. So I wish the skier had that as well. So yeah, Surfer, very cool. Now let's move on to the witch. She's got the witch hat, a pretty generic hat. Um, I've seen a lot of like Harry Potter sets and such. Oh, old Harry Potter sets. And here's the green face. Uh, very ugly looking, I guess I should say. Here's the broomstick again, very generic Harry Potter broomstick. She's got the, uh, the chest, and she has one of those uh, slanted pieces for legs. But they come off kind of easily, but you're not going to be playing much with the minifigures, so it's not a problem. Like, Professor McGonagall from Harry Potter had one of those chests, and since you're going to play with those sets, she's going to break apart a lot. But this, you're not going to play with, so it's fine. Okay, now let's go into the vampire. See, he's got the same hair as the Karate Master for some reason. And thankfully, he's not one of those prissy, sparkly, twilight vampires. He's an old-fashioned, awesome vampire. See, it comes with a very... Generic bat piece, and then a lot of sets. Harry Potter, um, some studio sets. He's got the nice cloak, um, the cape, which for some reason people have a lot of trouble getting on, but it's not hard at all. So yeah, and, uh, the traffic cop. Now we're getting to kind of the uh, the not so cool ones. See, so, yeah, he's got the uh, stuck on there. There you go. It's got the helmet. I think this is in a couple of the Alpha Team sets, not the the. The Hero Factory, the Alpha Team from like 2001. I think Flex wore that hat a couple times. So yeah, he's got the sunglasses. He's got the, the cop chest or the police chest. He's got handcuff pieces, which are kind of cool, but they're in a lot of other sets. Like the Portal of Atlantis, awesome set. See my review of that. He's got this cool little uh, traffic ticket. Thing. Probably can't read the text, even if you have like a microscope or something, it's probably just like blobs. And he's just got the regular black pants. He's okay, but yeah. And then the ringmaster, uh, he's got the, the top hat. He's basically the magician of his uh, series. And he's got the twirly mustache <laughs> and the, the suit. He doesn't have very many unique pieces. The whip can kind of like do that, you can grip it like right there. You know, when stuff. So, yeah, last minute figure, the Explorer. He's got the regular Explorer's hat and a lot of like the Johnny Thunder sets. You know, and there's his face, binoculars, there's the, the chest. Ma magnifying glass, pretty simple one. It does actually magnify. You probably can't see it on camera. See, so, yeah, I have to hurry this up. But, uh, not very good main figure. Definitely my least favorite. So yeah, that's the main figures. Lots of very, very cool ones. Um, lots of not so cool ones. Uh, definitely check them out. Go to Lego store, get some. If they're still available, go on eBay or whatever. If they're not available, gotta go. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. Hope this gets a lot of views. Delete those other ones. Goodbye.